Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Psalm 31, verses 14 and 15. I am trusting you, O Lord, saying, You are my God. My future is in your hands. We've seen David recount his problems in many psalms, but in this psalm, the procession of problems is particularly depressing. Tears blurred his eyes and his body and soul were withering away. He felt as if he was dying from grief. Sin had drained his strength and he was wasting away from within. His enemies were laughing at him and even his friends were avoiding him when they saw him in the street. He felt as if he was surrounded by terror, knowing that his enemies were plotting to kill him. But amid all of this pressure, He knew that he could look to God with confidence, knowing that his future was in God's hands. This knowledge didn't suddenly remove all his problems, but it did give him security and confidence. We're all curious about the future, aren't we? However, the truth is that none of us knows what the future holds. Life may stay much the same for many years, or it might change overnight. We simply do not and cannot know. It's therefore vital that we place ourselves in God's hands in the same way as King David. The psalm goes on to describe the way in which David knew that God would bless him. He said, Great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection. He was confident that, despite the continual threats, God would keep him safe. He also knew that he would continue to experience God's love. He had praised the Lord, for he had shown him the wonders of his unfailing love, and he also knew that God would hear his prayers. He recalled a time when he'd felt in total despair and had cried out, I am cut off from the Lord, and God had answered his cry. David faced problems on a scale that few of us will ever experience, and God proved to be totally reliable. No wonder he placed his future in God's hands. Now let me ask you a question. Have you placed your future in God's hands? And if so, how does this affect your daily life? Now let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you that you are our God. We gladly place our future in your hands. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.